here. I've been waiting to see these guys play like each other all the time. And now that Austin's coming up here consistently, it's just going to be great to see all these different matches coming up. But right now we have a DFW kind of classic. Jeff has beaten Burr before, but this is Chef and Burr. And this is going to be Kazuya versus Falco. Um, not sure how this matchup goes, but from what I can tell, it's not going to be too easy for the, the Spacey here. Oh, I mean, well, it's the thing about being the Spaceys. Yeah, you like being on the in the air, but certainly only on your own terms. And now, as you're not just getting juggled in the air. You could be just getting juggled on the ground. You got the Ten Strings to worry about. You got Electric Wind God Fist to worry about. And not only that, you got the DLC mechanics on deck. You exactly. got the camera switching on you on the throws. What else can you deal with if you are uh, if you are Chef? You might just get burnt by a. Uh, by the combos of uh, what was your own design. Exactly, you see that two frame? That was so smart by Burr. And he's not taking that, like, Chef started off so strong, but Burr has already brought it back. Uh, not being phased by it at all, and he's dead. And yeah. Burr takes the first stock of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's that, it's that grab that gets you, but Burr maybe uh, reveling in that just a little bit too much. You do have to earn that up smash. And now here come the cutscene combos. Get your popcorn ready. Burr, <laughs> however, decides to air dodge out. Definitely a wise move. You definitely want your feet on the ground. That's how you get so much power in them kicks, exactly, a Exactly, exactly. And one thing is, I mean, you get the cutscene combos from, from Chef, but you got to forget Kazuya. He's got that DLC cutscene combos as well. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Shit. That fair, perfectly placed by Chef. And now he's up a good amount in this game. Yeah, that, and that's the thing. You really do have to be precise with where you place that hitbox of the fair. And here you go, tagging him all the way up to 76%. He went to the back for here. Doesn't going to get it. Is going to get the recovery, however. Mm. Burr back onto the stage, resets to neutral. That's about where you want to be. That's what gives you a chance if you are Burr. However, that drag down on the Nair is going to put Burr into a compromise position yet again. And here you go, getting the grab. One stock apiece, and Kazuya at about half rage is always dangerous. As soon as Chef has found a lead, Burr just finds his way right back into it. And now it's going to be Burr. At the ledge, what's the edge guard? Not gonna get anything. Gonna go for the up smash, and he's gonna get it back thrown. Oh, went for that that cheeky little down smash to spike him, but it's not gonna get it. And they're back in neutral here. He's on the platform, looking for the bears. Not gonna get it either. Looking for the back air themselves. Burr trying to turn garbage into gold off of the ledge. Not going to find the mark. Chef, very tactful with their shield, but now you're meeting them on flat ground again. Up throw, gonna put them in a disadvantage, and there you go. Chef is going to jump up. Going where Eagles dare <laughs> to get game number one. And yeah, that is a very worthy Kazuya that we're seeing from Burr. A lot of areas of danger and certainly taking advantage of that command grab into the kill twice on two occasions in that game number one. I can't imagine that that's going to be uh, simply given to them going into game number two. Because yes, Kazuya can adapt. Chef has shown throughout that game that they can adapt as well. Yeah, exactly. And there's one thing that as soon as one of them answered, like as soon as one of them got a stock, the other one answered back immediately. And it was super fast paced match. And this is what I like to see out of Smash Ultimate, you know, is these guys going back and forth. And here we go into game two. Um, what are the stage for FD? Well, this is gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit better for the for the um, Shoto, non Shoto, whatever argument you wanna make for that. <laughs> see, I, I just I refuse to call anyone but Ken Ryu Shotos because they're the ones who practice Shoto Pop. That's that that's my argument, that is merely my opinion. Um, you can definitely tweet your wrong opinions at me as to the announcer. <laughs> anyway, we're going to game number two, FD. Yeah, it's one of those stages that Falco definitely oh, no. likes to be on, but no. you got to be able to tech that, yeah. and Burr is going to eat you alive if you don't. That's stock number one exactly. for the PR member. And Chef was looking so good, and then he gets the back here just like that. Beautiful. These guys are just killing each other left and right. There is no stopping at all. This is a straight up punch in the face contest. You gotta love it in Smash. I mean, it's a platform brawler. It's a primarily defensive game, but sometimes you just wanna see some of these two people pop Probably each other in the mouth. Exactly. And that's what you're seeing right now with Chef. Mm -hmm. Again, the combination gets the advantage, both on the numbers and on the stage, but you gotta be able to attack it. The shoulder buttons exist for a reason, Chef, and Burr is going to make them pay twice in this matchup. For the same, in the same place too, and the poor Nair didn't actually connect for him, and 
Uh, that's such a disaster for Chef as that air didn't connect, but almost killing with that back air, man. Their technical aptitude is keeping them in this. Chef doing well to get to the uh, to get to the ledge and the back air to connect as Burr taken to their final stock as well. Almost to 100% is Chef that command grab. And now back in neutral, here's this cutscene combos you're talking about. Oh, Ooh, gonna get jabbed. Oh, oh my god. That, Almost breaking his shield. That's really scary there. That shield was a gobstopper. Burst, yeah. Straight up. But oh, there you go he's on gonna, the upbeat. Yeah, he's going to fly up into him and take that game two and make it a game three. These games are going like it's just super fast. They're going so quick. Yeah, you know what? I got wings too, says Kazia, going up into the skies. And yeah, having a neat little discussion about it. And that's the thing, you know, Burr always willing to talk things out, mm -hmm. keeping a friendly, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say facade, definitely genuine, but make no mistake about it, behind that friendly face is the mentality of an absolute killer. Exactly. It's what's gotten them to the to the DFW PR before, mm -hmm. and Chef looking to make their mark. Make his name. Yeah. And further impress upon DFW their influence as we go to Triplat's big advantage, I would say, for Falco. But then again, it's a pretty small area to have to contest if you're Kazuya. With, yeah, with Akazuya especially. But, I mean, Chef already starting off strong here and ledge trapping again. And look, oh, Burr's already this. at 86. This is looking a little sketch, actually. Surprised they didn't chase with the dare, to be completely mm -hmm. honest. And did, did I just give something away? Oh, gets the throw. Did you see Chef wanting that kill? He wanted that F smash so bad, but he takes 60 for it, man. That's that's one thing about Kazuya. You can't make mistakes, or you're going to be up in those percents very quickly. You can't be feeling yourself too hard. Those wings can get clipped real easy if you're Falco. Certainly like that. I, I, I kind of wonder if the DI, uh, if that could have been DI, yeah. if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, but Chef is going to answer right back. And that's the one thing Burr got the, he's got the win it DLC kill grab, but Chef is going to get the fair. And that move is kind of DLC on its own, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Drag down nares to start things up. Chef has been getting those uh, really throughout the course of the three games, uh, certainly in the games where yeah. we had platforms. But again, that grab on the platform, you're going to eat 50 for it ostensibly. And now Burr getting taken off stage just past uh, 76 and change on oh, the board for them. Hit? But oh, yeah. tried to read that on the platform. However, Chef wisely rolling out of the way. I mean, you need to get off of those platforms mm -hmm. like your life depends on it because this second stock certainly does. And Burr was about to make that look so broken, but this could be it with the up oh, and Chef my. is going to answer and he's going to take the stock lead in game number three versus Burr. And now the up tilt, mm -hmm. you don't, when you don't have to fish for them, that makes your life so much easier as Falco. When you don't have to fish for your tilt, you're getting in there. You need to have your shield ready. I know that you're Kazuya, but you don't get everything. Ooh, he guess, the, guess the tech. That could very well be the difference, but there you go. Chance a race down to the bottom. Burr knows what happened. And yeah, that's going to be game number three.